give it a chance next year will be reform. What kind of reform? And how do you do reforms? We need structural political reforms. I think the political system enshrined in the 1987 Constitution has already served its purpose. We have reintroduced democracy already in this country. Now, as a reaction to what was termed as a dictatorship before. And in that sense, the 1987 Constitution was enacted to remedy a pre-existing situation, that of curing and ridding the country of any and all influences of the political setup during President Marcos's time. I think we have already cured ourselves of that. However, in the process, and admittedly, I don't think anybody can disagree, it breeds checks and balances, but it does not admit of political synergy, even as to basic, basic issues, particularly international issues, where the country must speak with one voice, one tone, through foreign policy, which is set by the executive. That's just an example. Synergy is really important in a growing democracy right now. Once you have been reintroduced, the apparatus for freedom, the apparatus for exchanges of debate, the anti-repressive apparatus, apparatus has already been removed. Now you need to breed an atmosphere of political cooperation, principled political cooperation which our system of government does not. So maybe we should re-examine our political structural system for not necessarily a parliamentary system, but a presidential unicamera, where you don't place also a number of days that Congress should meet. Because if you place a number of days that Congress should meet, it will meet and find something to do. They don't have anything to do. And what does that mean? Rather than quality legislation, quantity of legislation comes out. I've been a congressman for nine years. I've heard the oft-repeated phrase that we will go for quality uh, legislation. But the, after the end of every congress, the speaker will automatically come out with a, an advertisement saying that was res I was responsible for the passage of 1,000 bills into law. Same banana. In political reform, perhaps we should re-examine the relationship of the national government vis-a-vis -vis the local government. I'm not advocating for federalism here. I'm advocating perhaps where Congress can be given the power to determine which regions can be given more powers. For example, the power to charter their own companies and get fees from that power to have some regulated business practices of their own norms. But what is the correlative cost to the region that gets these blessings? Less participation in the internal revenue allotment. So that we can funnel the internal revenue allotment to those regions that cannot afford and need capacity building from the national government. And the end in view is to build, capacitate local government units to be the sole providers of basic services to the communities that they serve. National government cannot be in a state of perpetually financing basic services and local government. There should be a capacitation period, a weaning away period. Now this would also entail perhaps consolidation of certain local government units. Why? There are a lot of newly created municipalities that cannot sustain themselves. Cities, no problem. More so with municipalities. Or maybe halving or dividing those cities that can. A lot of debate can be put upon it. But what we want to do, what I want to do, is to empower Congress to make that determination without the necessity of a cumbersome constitutional amendment again.